What's up guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to properly uh, import a character fully into WWE 2K25. This tutorial is going to include porting a character from an older 2K game. Uh, it's going to include just uh, actually putting a character into WWE 2K25 using Tribute. And it's also going to include how to import graphics as well as how to fix graphics for the new stage design. Um, we also are going to go over a very basic process on how to properly import a sound from a .mp3 file. Uh, so yeah, this part of the tutorial is literally going to cover just porting a character from a previous 2K game. For this one, I'm going to be importing Bantam 2K's Tajiri from 2K24. He recently just updated a Tajiri for 2K25. Um, however, I don't pay for his Patreon. This one is a free folder, so this is going to be a process that I have to do. Um, but yeah, this is what I have done. Uh, also, I am going to be using uh, Mortis 92's graphics for Tajiri. Uh, so at the current moment, uh, these are the two folders that I'm going to be using. Uh, the render, I found that using the Discord for um, pro wrestling mods, literally just searching in renders uh, Tajiri. Let me go ahead and give proper credit for that as well. And right here, it looks like Griff is the one who uh, created that Tajiri uh, render that I'm gonna that I'm using for this. So uh, thank you, Griff. Thank you, Mortis92, and thank you, Bantam. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and first things first, we're gonna need these nine programs for everything that we're gonna be doing. Um, a couple of them you might not need for every character, but if you are gonna be porting a decent bit of characters, I've imported 82 so far. Um, <laughs> you are gonna be needing these nine folders here or nine programs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Blender because that is the only thing that we're going to be needing for this part of the tutorial. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be porting a character from WWE 2K24 into WWE 2K25. Uh, first things first, whenever you open up Blender, go ahead and delete this camera cube and light. You don't need it. Um, then you are going to be wanting to uh, import the MDL file for uh, 2K25. Uh, this is going to be provided to you in the uh, Discord for Pro Wrestling Mods. Um, it is the Visual Concepts WWE MDL MCD Import Export Add-on. Uh, you can import it by going into the Preferences, which I've done already. Go to Edit Preferences. Under Add-ons, you can click this drop-down carrot and click Install from Disk. Make sure you just install the full zip file. You don't have to uh, extract it or anything. Um, you just have to in import the zip file, and you're good. I'm going to go ahead and close. I've already done all that, so I don't need to do that again. Um, once we get into this, sec this section, we're going to go ahead and go to import, and we're going to go to this big V, as you can see on the left side, visual concepts model. Once we've done that, we're here. Go ahead and click load attachments points first. Um, that is very, very important. Um, if you don't do this, you're not going to be able to import belts or anything like that for uh, characters. So make sure you click on that. Uh, go ahead and go back to that Tajiri folder that you had. I have renamed mine just to Tajiri, but this is that Band, uh, Bantam 2K uh, Tajiri that was created. Go ahead and click on that. Click base model, then click base model.mdl. What is going to happen is it's going to bring in this base model into Blender. Um, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually import the uh, attire as well. Might as well get both of them in there. Uh, and boom. Over here on the right side, uh, you will see that you have two skeletons. I'm going to drag this down. Um, you have a skeleton here. This is the base model skeleton, and then you have the attire skeleton. If you want to see what the attire looks like, you can click this button here, the viewport shading. And uh, it does have weird stuff with the hair, and it doesn't work fully, but um, you can see what what it's probably going to look like, what it's mostly going to look like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead into this skeleton, click this down carrot, and then you're gonna highlight everything from body down to teeth uh, for this Tajiri, but you're gonna do it for everything that is included in the actual base model for whatever you're porting. Um, then you're gonna go ahead and click export under file. You're gonna go ahead to the MDL. You're gonna click desk. You're gonna go back into the base model folder that you already were in, and you're just gonna highlight it. So down at the bottom, we'll say base model dot model. Um, don't select anything else here and then just click export model once it's done its work then you know you're good um, then under here you are going to select two more profiles um, for this one it's going to be head and body 
Um, it is literally going to be whatever is taking up the entirety of the head. So it could be head or head.001, head.002. It's just however the creator created it. Head and body. Um, body.001. Just make sure it's selecting pretty much everything here that you can see. Um, you're going to click file, you're going to export, and then you're going to export.hpl. Click desktop. Uh, you don't have to click desktop. Go back to where your default attire is and then highlight the uh, HPL that's already in there and you are good. Uh, then you're gonna go into the attire skeleton. You're gonna highlight everything in there and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna export. We're gonna go back into this default attire. You're gonna go ahead, double click on that and it's going to export the, uh, the model. Um, we're gonna go take a look at that folder. Uh, so I'm gonna minimize that. We're gonna go look at this folder that has been changed. Um, as you can see in here, we have four folders. We're four, four files. We have a .ctg, a .mcd, .mdl, and .mtls. Um, you used to not see the .mcd. That is what we created by doing that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the .mdl. We don't need that anymore. Um, we just need these three files. The MDL is what we imported and what MCD is what we exported. Um, now you're gonna need to be updating the MTLS file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, you're gonna see this, it's not gonna have an M there, uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, you're gonna go ahead and click open with. Um, you're gonna go ahead, choose an app on your PC and you're gonna choose your material editor. This is what is with um, Cake View. So underneath CakeView, where I have mine installed, I have CakeView.exe and MaterialEditor.exe. Go ahead and select that Material Editor. Um, click Always down at the bottom, just so it'll always pop up. And it's gonna pop up the actual Material Editor. What that does is it's gonna say Material Conversion. This MTLS file has a mismatched game target. It's gonna retarget it back to 2K25. You're gonna click Save, you're gonna click Yes, and then you're gonna click OK. Everything has been pushed to 2K25 for the materials. Then you're gonna go into default attire. You're gonna do the same. So you're gonna delete this MDL. You're gonna go into MTLS and you're going to click okay. You're gonna click save, click yes, click okay, and you are good. Uh, there is one last thing that you need to be doing. As you can see, there are additional files. We've changed this HBL, we've changed this MCD, and we've now updated this MTLS. However, we have this .ycl file. This is the other important file. You can ignore like hair, whatever. I don't even know what those do, but this one is also important to update. Um, underneath the Pro Wrestling Mods Discord, you're also gonna be getting a YCL 24 to 25 folder. You are going to be taking the file in there, which is titled reformat YCL to 2025, and you're gonna be importing it in, into this default attire folder. You're gonna double click on this. Mine's gonna pop up and say that it's protecting my PC, but I'm gonna run it anyway. It's gonna pop up command prompt. And what it has done, it has uh, reformatted the entire file and it has created a new one. As you can see here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that back to the desktop. Don't need it anymore in here. Um, it has, still has the YCL file, but it also has this YCL reformat file. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this YCL file. I am going to rename this reformatted file and I'm just gonna get rid of underscore reformat. So now it is back to what it was before and everything is the same, except now all of the files that I needed updated are updated. Um, so yeah, we are good. This Tajiri folder is now fully ready to be imported into WWE 2K25. In the next tutorial, in the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to go over, go over that. So if you've watched to this point, go ahead and go into the next video. Thank you guys so much, and that is how you uh, port a, a 2K23, 2K22, and 2K24 model into 2K25.